Gemini, you are up for the April tarot energy reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the energy in the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. So I'm using the Sign of the Times Oracle deck, and then I'm using a regular tarot deck. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into this and see what we get. May I have the energy for Gemini for April? May I have the energy for Gemini for April? May I have the energy? I'm going to set this to the side because something's telling me to set it to the side. For Gemini, for April. What is it that Gemini needs to hear? What is it that Gemini needs to hear? Also, the kids are playing outside right now. (laughs) What is it that Gemini needs to hear? Bottom of the deck. Joy. Smiley face. So some of you are very happy right now. Some of you are now free of something. The reason I'm saying that is because the full card came out in the pre-shuffle. That might be why some of you are happy because you just broke free of something. Um, Whether it was quitting a job, quitting a relationship, quitting um, toxic friendships or whatever. You, You feel free. Again, take what resonates, leave what does not. May I have a card for Gemini, please? May I have a card for Gemini? What is the energy for April? Okay, that's way too many. (laughs) That's way too many. Oh, goodness. Thank you. If I can pull it, it's this one right here. There we go. All right. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, globe. Possibility. Possibility. Some of you might be doing some traveling. That goes with the full card. Full card is definitely a travel card. Some of you might be doing like a month of travel. So let's keep that in mind too. Now, card that I set to the side is mirror, which is reflection. What do you see? Also, sometimes dealing with others is a reflection of ourselves. Meaning some of the things that we might not like in others, some of the traits might be a reflection of something that we don't like within ourselves. So mirror, are you aware of what your reflection shows? Now, this is kind of interesting. This is telling me don't take Southwest. (laughs) Don't take Southwest. I'm kidding. So look. Lightning disruption is showing a plane, but in all seriousness, um, if you're traveling somewhere, do research on what the weather is like on the time you go. Just like for me, I plan to go to Thailand. I've been looking at like, okay, what's the rain season? Because Thailand has a rain season. So, and I keep on, I think it's like March to going seven or eight months, there isn't any rain, but like three or four months out the year, it's a whole bunch of rain, something like that. I know I don't want to go during the rain period. For you, if you're traveling somewhere, you don't want to travel there when the weather is the craziest, if that makes sense. So I would, if I were you, and again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're planning on doing like major traveling, always check what the weather looks like during that time of the year. All right, but it says disruption. Now, obviously this isn't, In regards to just travel, disruption can be in multiple things, but that's not a bad thing. Disruption gives you time to take a step back and be like, okay, I think I want to handle this differently. It isn't a thing of, oh my God, I'm having a disruption. What do I do? What do I do? No, I don't feel that that will be an issue. One reason I don't feel that will be an issue is because the full card came out. For those of you who are not familiar with the tarot deck, the tarot deck has 78 cards. 56 are minor arcanas, like the suits and stuff. 22 of the um, cards are what we call major arcana. Arcana meaning secrets. So minor secrets, major secrets. And in the minor arcana, it starts with, not minor, in the major arcana, it starts with zero. Zero is the full. Zero is the beginning. 
The next card after that is the magician, which is the number one, which is number one. The magician. The magician was the fool. However, the fool, when they went off on their journey, they learned different things and they were able to gather the cups. They were able to gather the swords. They were able to gather the pentacles. They were able to gather the wands. And after that, they had everything they needed to manifest whatever it is that they want. And that is the magician. I'm saying, I'm telling you that story to say this. This full energy that you're on now, yes, on your journey, there may be disruptions. But once you get past the disruptions, you will see that you are the magician. These disruptions are giving you the, there's a word I'm looking for. It's basically like iron sharpens iron. It, it, it's testing you. It's vetting you. It, it's giving you not just the tools, but the, the mental fortitude. To deal with disruptions in the future as well. And like I said, after you deal with all of these, you will become the magician. And you will see that you have had the ability and you have the ability to manifest whatever it is that you want to manifest. And you can handle whatever is thrown at you. So that's that energy on that part. Let's go ahead and take a few tarot cards and then we'll close this out. Can we clarify the energy on the table? Can we clarify the energy on the table? Can we clarify the energy on the table? Swift movement, knight of swords, taking action, air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So this is taking action. Something told me to tell you, look before you leap. I always hear that sometimes when I pull that card out. Look before you leap. All right. Clarifying the cards on the table. What is it that Gemini needs to hear? What is it that Gemini needs to hear? What is it that Gemini needs to hear? Watch your money. If you're traveling, doing any traveling, make sure that you take the necessary precautions when it comes to your money. Some of you Instead of taking your cell phone, you may want to get a um, like a prepaid phone and then use the SIM card for that country for any of you that are traveling internationally. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For others of you, this can be about strategy instead of deception. Some of you need to make a plan. It is what you need to do. Make a plan on how you want to accomplish your goals on this new journey that you're taking. Others of you... This is you getting ready to start your new journey, but not telling anyone. Some of you, if you haven't broken free from something yet, this is you strategizing to break free from it with Seven of Swords energy. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. May I have some cards, please, as we close this out. Final messages for what Gemini needs to hear. Okay, this wants to come out. I kind of want to take it, which is the Nine of Cups. I'm going to set it to the side. Let's see what else. Nine of Swords was at the bottom. Some of you, again, a strategy would be good. What? What did I tell you? You can't make this up. You are the magician. And you know what? That makes sense, Gemini, because the magician is your energy, because it's Mercury. Your ruling planet is Mercury. Like, totally slipped my mind for a second on that one. And I know that like I know the back of my hand. But yeah, the magician is Mercury energy, which is your ruling planet. So with the magician here and the nine of cups, you're going to manifest what you want. You have the power to do it. Any disruptions that happen... All they're going to do is make you stronger and make your powers of manifestation stronger in order to bring in wish fulfillment. So, yeah, you are the magician. I'm, I will probably title this something like that. You are the magician or the most powerful magician or the magician goat. I don't know. Something about magician. I'll title it that. That's your message. KIRWKC.com. 
main podcasting platform. Until next time, Gemini, be blessed.